So we've come onto the beach and we're going to fly the new drone for the first time. It's been charging for a couple of hours and it actually took quite a long while to charge all three, didn't it? Yeah, it probably takes an hour and a half each. An hour and a half per battery, so yeah. Four and a half hours later, we are on the beach about to fly the drone for the first time. I don't think we're expecting to get anything amazing now. It's more just to kind of test it out and try it and see what it's like. So It's going to be the first picture. So what are your initial thoughts? It feels really smooth and this is way better. Like, like sturdier? The, yeah, and also the sticks are... feel more precise. Uh, you feel a bit more like in control. It's way more sensitive as well. Feel faster. Uh, I have to try it. Are you enjoying it so far? Yeah. There's a water looks shit. See? See how fast we can go? I prefer the old interface. Because right now the battery you can just see that. When before you had the line, you know, and it was like green, yellow, red, which was really visual. I hear you, you need to read a number. I know it sounds easy, but... Let's try the 48 megapixel pictures now. Yeah. Get a big resolution. Let's see. Let's take the same in normal as well. This is smart menu as well. I don't know what that is. Let's take the three same pictures. I'm not moving. If you can remember, the first one is 48. The second one is single. And the third one is smart. I don't know what I mean though. We'll see. <laughs> It'd be interesting to compare the presets that we had for the first drone to see if they apply on this one or if anything is different. Oh my god, Miami is hot. So we just got back from. <laughs> I'm not lying, am I? It is hot. Um, so we just got back from being on the beach. It's like quarter to seven and it's boiling. Anyway, we just flew the drone for the first time and I flew the last drone a couple of times and then I crashed it and I kind of got scared and put off by it. So Jeremy is like the drone guy. So I'm just gonna, from your experience, what did you think? Um, it's a pretty good upgrade and it's worth the price, I feel, considering I didn't pay too much for it. Yeah, By selling the other one, uh, it was worth it. Uh, the battery life, like the other one was about between 15 and 20 minutes when this one seems to be, yeah, 30 plus, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. Like you literally have an extra half an hour. Yeah, with three battery more. compared to, yeah, it's, it's huge. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, swear, it's fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking fast. Uh, way faster than the other one. And I didn't try the sport mode, but in normal mode, yeah. I went up to 45 kilometers per hour, which I don't know is in miles, but fast. Fast. When I think the other, ma the other one went up to 30, 35 maybe. So I have to try that in sport mode. That'll be fun. Like maybe like, let's just get used to flying before we try sport mode. No, it's yeah. good to like chase jet skis and yeah. boats, boats and, and stuff things, like that. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of yachts and jet skis around here, so that's fun. 
Oh yes, yeah, they've upgraded the... Well, it's a new app and it's got plenty of like safety features. Uh, when an aircraft is coming around you, the controller vibrates and it's telling you that something is approaching, uh, which is pretty cool because actually I remember that once with the first one. An helicopter flew pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a few uh, times where it got pretty close. It was yeah, like, but that one was shows. really close. Yeah. When, so yeah, that that's pretty good. And it vibrated the handset, and it told you something's coming close. So yeah, you kind you of... got like a red alert on the screen, so you can't miss it. And it was also <laughs> when it, the airplane was quite far away, so you had a good like couple of minutes to yeah. think, okay, where is it? How far am I? Where do I need to go to avoid and it? And we actually saw it. It was real. Like, yeah. It was not like a mistake yeah, the plane or anything. Yeah. And, yeah, it's not just like a plane going to Europe, or it's actually a small one. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, after like, it's hard to describe, but the the whole thing seems a bit less like a toy. I mean, the first Air was really good, but it was really light and, and somehow the control had plenty of moving bits. Yeah. Which made it... Like cheap almost. Plasticky and yeah. stuff like that. When this one is heavier, it's a big block, uh, the drone seems more stable mm -hmm. and yeah, it's 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 really a thing, but like you you you, you can feel the the drone is more like sturdy and 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 stable, uh, and you feel a bit more in control. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to describe with words, but it's really a feeling. But it's it it looks more professional, I would say. In yeah, a way. just like better built, I guess, and like yeah. sturdier, stronger, less flimsy, less plasticky, just kind of better quality overall. Yeah, and even the wind, like it's not too windy today but a little bit and you don't feel it at all yeah. when usually you could feel like you could see the camera a little bit moving or you could see going against the wind you could feel that like your resistance yeah, yeah. when that was just i mean it's not too windy but it was pretty smooth you were surprised by how quiet it was as well when it set yeah. off usually with the older ones like Vroom! and like everyone around you yeah, can the hear other one it. was like a bee like really yeah. Good. yeah like you can't really fly over people with the other one because you'd be able to hear it like on the beach even if you're not photographing people i know like on the beach whatever but if you're like close to people you can hear there's a drone around whereas with this one it was a lot quieter yeah. we felt than the other one yeah way better for that yeah no yeah it's a pretty good upgrade uh we love to see the footage um, yeah just to play with it and, and compare it um and you took but, some photographs, so it's got 48 megapixel camera and it's also got like a smart mode. Yeah, I, and, I don't know what it is. And normal. So normal. I think the normal is 12 megapixel, because I think the 48 is kind of multiple 12 megapixel put together. Okay. It's like an algorithm putting it together, uh, so you know. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see a difference, because I don't know what this. I guess, I wonder if the smart one is like HDR. Mm, maybe. Some stuff like that. Yeah. Very processes, right? Yeah, but everything was in auto. I didn't play any manual settings, ND or anything. So yeah, that was the first. No, yeah, it's a good one. Centoy. Um. So then, in terms of price, so the Mavic Air One, how much is that now for sale? Uh. Like six hundred ish. Yeah. Now I think it's five ninety nine, and you can get the combo, which comes with a bag, extra battery for six ninety nine. Mm -hmm. um, so 700. Yeah, 700. But this one, just the drone, cost 800. Mm -hmm. And the combo cost 1000. And you think it's worth upgrading? Yeah, it's it will last longer. Just the battery life, I mean. Well, the battery life and also the fact that it can't disconnect. Yeah, well, we'll have to. Nice. Yeah, that's we'll the theory. We'll have to try a bit. But no, but just the battery life, honestly. Like with the other one, with three batteries, you had. Realistically, like 50 minutes. Yeah. When that's what you get with two, you might even get more than that with two of them. Mm. That's huge, when, especially yeah. when you travel. Because it's like a traveling drone. Like that's what it is for. And if you can fly for like an hour and a half rather than 50 minutes, yeah, that's pretty big when you yeah. go for a day trip. That's massive. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. So we're happy with that. Yeah. Um, we're going to. And possibly do like an updated review in like a month or two yeah. once we've flown it a little bit more and give you a bit more of like an in-depth review on like the photo quality and the video quality and the different settings because I know there's a couple of fun different things where you said you can like do hyperlapse I want to try that would you have that in your other one yeah which is like a time lapse but moving and you can set like a starting point an end point and some checkpoint in the middle and it's gonna fly really slowly 
between from A to B, taking photographs along the way and putting it together. And I know that looks freaking cool. There's a guy, isn't there? There's a guy that we follow um, who photographs a lot at nighttime in Miami, and he takes some awesome videos. But they usually do it manually. Yeah, he does it manually. Like yeah. move, take picture, move, and then edit everything on Lightroom and put it together. Well, yeah. Now they just made it, so that's gonna be freaking cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So we'll do an updated review in like a month or two or three, we'll see. Yeah. Once we've had a bit of a play, once we've edited the photographs, played with the videos, played with the different settings, have a real in-depth... There's the icon, of course, I'm not gonna bother, right, whatever. So we'll give you a review. So far, thumbs up from us, we're enjoying it. It's probably worth the upgrade if you have the old one, you'd say. Yeah. It's good fun. Um, so. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you want Jeremy in more of my videos. <laughs> Look at this cute face. How could you not want him in the videos? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Peace.